Hi, this is Manash Patel at imtftrade.com, okay? Today, I want to ask you a question. Did you lose a lot of money during the financial bust in 2008? How about the internet bubble bust in 2000? If you did, you want to listen to the rest of this recording and see exactly what I'm going to talk to you about. Because the pain that everyone went through, you should not have gone through it at all. Reason why is the charts were telling you that the financial boom was about to go the other way. And the biggest thing is, is that when you have these booms, huge price movement that goes up, how do you know the profit taking is going to turn into a complete trend reversal? A lot of people don't know that because a lot of times it could be profit taking, then it continues enough for the leg up. And you really don't sit there and get out because you get the fear of missing out if it goes up even more. So today I'm going to show you a very, very simple method on how to recognize when something that's been trending for a long time now is going to go from profit taking to a full blown trend reversal. So let's go for the charts and let's analyze what happened in 2008 by looking at the XLF, the ETF for the financial markets and see exactly what the charts told you. So here's a chart, the XLF, okay? And this is the weekly time frame that you're looking at right now. Over here is the January of 14 of 2008. I'm not showing you everything before 2008, but you know that the XLF was going up huge. It was a huge percentage up, just going up, 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 up. And then all of a sudden here, you started seeing some profit taking towards 2007, that started taking place right here, okay? So this is profit taking and then it comes to these lines. These lines are what we call the CIMTF support resistance lines, okay? Let's keep it simple. There's four lines on the chart. If you're above all the four lines, now you can start a bullish trend. If you get below the four lines, you now can start a bearish trend, okay? Now, the key thing I'm looking for is when you have a trend, I want to see these brackets move. Not to be in standstill, but I want to see them move. When they move, that's when you want to pay attention exactly what's going on, okay? So you could see here that right here, it was going up and then it started profit taking, profit taking, profit taking, then boom. Right in January of 2008, at the very beginning, you had these brackets move. So this thing was capping here, this downward movement there. Now the question is, is this profit taking or not? If it got below these four lines, which it did, now you can start a trend to the bearish side. That means it's not profit taking anymore. It's actually a possibility of a full blown trend reversal. And this is where the bubble could bust, okay? If it sat there and hold these four lines and got above it, now it could start a new trend going up and what you saw here was profit taking, okay? And you could see here, it went below, then came back up here and then sat there, finally came back low, retested this here and then started to move down. This right here was a pure sign here that the profit taking was done and this now had a high chance of going into a full blown trend reversal. And the way you do it is, is that if you have your trades long term in your retirement account or regular trading account or anything like that, when these brackets move, what you could do is take profits and then wait to see exactly what it does with the brackets. Does it go below them or go above them? If it goes below them, now it's going to go down and you just saved yourself a lot of money. If you know how to buy puts and so forth, you can look at buying puts at this point because if you think about it, in a bullish market, those puts are really cheap. Even if you go a couple of months out, a couple of strikes out, they're very, very cheap. Okay, so this is the XLF. Now, when something comes down like the XLF did, something has a high probability of starting to emerge to come up eventually. So this is called a sector rotation. 
in 2000, technology went down. When technology went down, eventually the financial markets took over as a leader and led us up completely. Then what happened is the financial market went down. And then the next question is, what's going to lead us? And the quickest way to determine that is to look at these 10 sector ETFs that you have and look at them even a weekly, a monthly time frame. So let's look at the SMH. And here, you could see here, this is 2008, it was going down, the brackets moved, okay? And at that point, the question is, will it continue to go down or continue to go up? In this scenario here, you only saw two brackets, the other two are at the very bottom. So there's no way it could keep on going down bearish you have to look for it to come up. Now it did break these brackets here, but they had moved a while back ago. So it's a little suspicious here. Then you start going up and then boom, right here at the beginning of 2013, the brackets moved, tried to stop this from going up. They moved, created resistance and it broke it. And that's what started the semiconductor market to go up. This is what kind of led us out of the financial markets. It wasn't NVIDIA. You started seeing signs of this, believe it or not, not this year or last year. In the last couple of years, you've seen NVIDIA go up, but it really started in 2013. You could see the semiconductor and then also you could see the XL, XLK start to move up. So the key here is, is that we look for these brackets to move. When they do, we pay attention because that's when the long-term trends can start. And that's the key of not experiencing what you did in the internet bubble bust in 2000 and also not experiencing what you did in the XLF in 2008. That is huge and that is very, very valuable because think about how much money you could save on your accounts on all the trades that you took going bullish, you collected a lot of money, but the key was is, did you get out without giving it all back? And that's what the CIMTR brackets on the weekly and monthly do, is when they move, now you could get out and then go back in if it breaks it. If you have any questions, please respond to the social media post and we'll get back to you. Have a good day.